What's up guys? So a lot of you have been asking me to do another trip report. So I figured I'd tell you guys about the time I ate five grams of mushrooms and drank mushroom tea. Now this was the very first time I ever tripped with one of my best friends. His name is Mike Dimethyl Trip the Man. Uh, we hung out one time before this. It was St. Patrick's Day and we got really drunk. I almost got arrested <laughs> and yeah, it was crazy. But he says, come over, we're gonna trip balls. Cause he had grown our magic friends. So they were finished. The strain was Oresis India and they were fucking amazing. But um, we come over, it was me, him, and his at the time roommate, Christina. We were hanging out, smoking pot. And then finally he's like, all right, how much do you want? And I paid him for it. So I was like, just give me an eighth. And he's like, all right, since you're paying for them, I'm gonna give you five grams, but there's a catch. What's the catch? You have to eat them all tonight. And I was like, okay. So he gives me my dose and then they ended up making tea with theirs. So they make their tea and we all sit at the table and ingest. So I start eating the mushrooms, I finish them. And then they were done with their tea, but there was still some left over. So he poured me some tea and he's like, here, drink that. First time ever having mushroom tea, it was delicious. And I drank it and we sat there and we waited for it to kick in. Um, now. Christina had a bunch of these graphic design printouts of all this art she does, a really trippy, like mandalic, geometric, cool pictures. So I had them all spread out in the, on the table. And I was just sitting there looking at them. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna watch this shit slowly start moving and warping and shit. And that didn't happen. Instead, a psychedelic fist fucking punched me in the face and it, you'll see what happens. So I'm sitting there talking to Mike, just listening to Mike, you know, he's going on about whatever. And then all of a sudden, my body temperature raised just through the roof. Like, I got so hot. Like, I felt like I was just going to immediately start sweating. And I was like, what the fuck? And then right when I thought that, I was thrown in a world of colors. Now, from Mike's perspective, what happened was I was sitting there. And all of a sudden, I just, <laughs> out of my chair, onto the ground, just lost consciousness. And then his first thought was, oh no, I killed him. I gave him bad mushrooms or something. And I was this only lasted for like 30 seconds. But yeah, I don't know where the fuck I went, but it was not of this world. Just kaleidoscopic fucking colors. And just, it was fucking awesome. And then like I come out of it. But at that point, like my, the feeling I had was just so alien. Like I was, didn't know what the fuck was what. So I got up and I like see Mike and Christina. At this point, I'm tripping nuts. Their heads are like, like fucking huge and like looks like they're inflating and deflating. And I like get up and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, where am I? And he's like, you're in my house. And I was like, am I okay? He's like, you're good. I was like, okay. And he's like, you want a light show? And I was like, all right. So he's like, all right, come in the come in the living room, sit down. So I lay on his couch and he starts fucking light gloving for me and it was fucking incredible just so many colors and oh my god so this goes on for about 20 minutes he gets tired he's like all right i'm gonna take a break so i'm like oh no it's cool man like i'm gonna seize out right now dude so he uh sits down and we know we're talking i'm looking at this picture of albert einstein that he has it's like a portrait it's a painting and it has all these math equations around it i'm sitting there looking at it and it fucking just like all these math equations start like pouring out at me and I'm like, there's no fucking way this is happening. Just so incredibly visual. Fuck man. Like wild. So anyways, Mike's talking to me and I'm sitting like literally two and a half feet away looking dead in his eyes and I cannot get a grip of what the fuck he was saying. I just couldn't cause he was talking and he was like, I was like, what? He's like, mm -da -ba 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 -da. I was like, one more time, I'm sorry, just what? And he's like, I was like, dude, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, just give me a sec. And he's just laughing. I thought I might have been annoying him. And that was kind of fucking with me. I was like, oh, shit, like, this guy probably thinks I'm a dumbass or like, I don't know. Like, I just started fucking with myself. But he thought it was fucking hilarious. And like, I would be in the middle of a conversation. I'd be like, this is good, but like, you know, talking, 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 talking. And then the next thing you know, I'd be like, mm, come back up and finish my conversation. I don't remember that happening, but Mike always made like laughs about it. And apparently that happens. So anyways, 
he's uh, his dog gets antsy and he's like, yeah, let's go take a walk. You know, I feel like I'm walking you down to walk. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. So he's like, right, we've got to find the leash. I'm like, okay, let's do it. Keep in mind, I've never fucking seen this leash. I This is the second time I've ever been in his house. The first time I was completely drunk and I don't know where anything is. So now I'm tripping nuts, walking around, looking for something I've never seen before. <laughs> You can imagine how that went. I'm just like walking around like, nah, nah. and now literally this search went on for like 30 to 45 minutes. Like we were fucking looking for this thing forever. There was a kid crashed out in his room. I'm like walking all over this kid. Like, mm, you see the leash, bro? <laughs> and like, we're like walking around, walking around, walking around. Finally, Mike's like, man, it's so weird. Walks up to his front door and he's like, I usually keep it right here. Reaches up into this little cupboard thing and pulls out the fucking leash. And he's like, Ah, and I'm like, God damn it, let's go. So we go and we fucking walk around. That was pretty cool. I honestly don't remember much of that walk. I can't recollect it. I remember walking around, but I don't remember like anything particular happening. Pro something probably did, but yeah, I don't remember. I remember getting back to his house. We sit down, chill out, smoke a bowl, and we just start talking start talking about psychedelics and our, you know, beliefs and all the psychedelic experiences we had and, you know, all the struggles we've been through. And I just connected with this kid so deeply. Like I saw myself in him, like we know each other's struggles and it was fucking awesome. And he easily became one of my best fucking friends because of this night. So this is definitely one of my most favorite mushroom trips. And ever since then, we've had guns pulled on us. We've been in f almost in fights on Mill Avenue and all this fucking crazy shit. And I wouldn't fucking trade it for the world. Love you, Mikey. Be sure to check out his YouTube too. Um, he hasn't po he posts every now and then, but definitely interesting shit. It's like Mr. Look up Mr. Super Sober Steve, or just look up Mike Daigle, or you can look in the description of this video. It'll be there. But yeah, that was definitely a wild trip fucking crazy yeah i don't know exactly what the dose was because of the tea with the five grams but definitely fucking crazy crazy night so yeah that's that i <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that but um now a lot of you guys are keep asking me like oh the dmt trip you know you said you're gonna do a lot you know but see ayahuasca is less than a week or less than two weeks away to be honest, I think I'm going to save it for afterwards. I'm trying to save everything for mother. Um, hope you understand. If you don't, I don't care. You can wait. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm really excited. Um, diet's been going pretty good. Everything's been going pretty good. So I'm just chilling. I got to work in about 45 minutes. But it's my Friday. I get paid tomorrow, and I'm fucking happy. So, yeah, thanks for watching. As always, I'm Icarus480. Peace, love, and smoke DMT.